Hey folks, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at building an infinite scroll data grid by lazy loading items on scroll. So what I have here right now is a React view that has a bottom data grid that's bound to an array of people. And I'm getting that array of people by calling my backend to find all the people, then setting that state. And that works fine. The problem is that if we have tons of people, that's not very efficient. So let's take a look at how we can lazy load those people just as they're needed. All right, so here in the backend, we can see that we have a repository for accessing the database. And then we have this one method for just finding everything in the database. And what we want to do is we want to create a way for us to just fetch that data one page at a time. So first of all, let's create a record where we can uh, return the page response. So we're going to create a public record page response. And this will take in two things. So we'll have a list of person objects, and we can call this items. And then we'll have a long which will be the total count of items that we have in the database. And here under the find all method, we're going to create a new method. So we'll do a public page response. And we're going to call this get to people. And this will take into things so the page and the page size. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this repository and using a page request on it to only fetch one page. All right, so in here, we're going to just first of all, query the repository. So I'm going to do a capture the response here by calling the repository, doing a find all. And I'm going to do a find all by passing in a page request that includes our page and our page size like this. And then what we can return is a new page response. And we're going to take that response that we have. And we're going to first of all, get the content. And then we're going to call res dot get total elements to get the total amount of elements that we have like that. We're going to build this so that we're able to call the method from the client. And what we can do then is remove all of the code we have right now for just fetching the full array and replace that with a data provider. So data provider is something that's specific to the bottom grid that uses to fetch data as you're scrolling along. So we're going to create a async function called data provider. And the data provider gets two parameters. First will be a grid data provider parameters uh, that is typed with a person. The other one will be a callback which will be of type grid data provider callback again of type person. And what we want to do here is we want to call that new endpoint method. And then once that's finished, we're going to return that in the callback. So we're going to await the person endpoint uh, gets people method, and we're going to use the parameters page and page size here as the input. And once we have that, we're going to call the callback. And this will take in a person array, and then that uh, total size. So we're going to take the response items and the response total count and return those. And then finally, we're going to go into the grid uh, tag here. And we're going to set the data provider is equal to our new data provider that we just created like this. And if we save, the grid should still work. But if we open up the dev tools here, we're going to see one kind of big difference in how it works. So if I start scrolling down, we're going to see that this get people method gets called as we're scrolling down. So we're not fetching the entire data set in one go, we're only fetching the data that we need. So there you have it. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.